Where are you from? Huh? Where are you from? Here, yeah, my passport. I said, where are you from? I'm from Nigeria. From what city in Nigeria? From Enugu, Enugu City. And why do you have all, all these drugs in your apartment? Listen to me, I don't have them. I'm my only, I, I, I have my, my goods. You lie, you Listen, lie! I cannot lie for you, my brother. Hey. I cannot lie. I, 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 I used to make my, my good business in Thailand. Only little did I know that somebody, they gave me a problem. That's led me into this. But I, I'm sorry, I will never repeat it again. I will never repeat it again. Please, please. The please. drugs are in your pocket. Yeah, they are in my pocket. I, 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 they, this is a I, very large amount of ice. I'm sorry. Sir. Where did you get it from? I, I did not get it from any source. Only I, I somebody, Brought to me before. <laughs> Somebody I, who? I don't. They, they used to keep somewhere and then you would take. Who? I don't know who. They will keep and then you will give. You go and take. That's how they do. That's how it is done. No, nobody in particular gives me my brother. So how Please. do you buy? I don't. I only when they give you. I, I don't even pay. They, they they give me and when I sell, I and I, I I give I, I limit their money back to them. So many, the thing has so much affected so many of us. I swear sometimes I'm crying at home that no, you can no longer, because there is no difference. I cannot say I'm a Nigerian, so I, I have to take the guilt too. I have to take the guilt. doesn't matter if I'm not involved, but these are my people. Because as long as they are committing this crime, it's affecting everybody. And if any Nigerian is listening to me, I'm begging you all in the name of God, please enough is enough. And if at least, why don't you guys even come back to your country and fight your government over here? Stop being tribalism, stop whatever you're doing and trying to blame whoever. How about you come change your country over here and do the better stuff? There is nothing wrong with making little money and surviving. You must you always want fast, fast money. You want to destroy everybody. You are destroying not just yourself. Mind you, money is only temporary. I'm speaking to my fellow Nigerians now. Those money, you will get it, but you are destroying the names of your kids. You are destroying the generation to come. Many people are suffering. Look at all over the world now. Everybody, Nigeria, 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 Nigeria. We don't, they don't even, there is no, in fact, as I, I, I would say there is no good one anymore because people have destroyed all of us. Please come back and, and let's stop this whole stuff. I see them, most of them, they come and they tell you, I mean, Sweden, that one said he's, 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 he's traveling all over ECOWAS, he's a journalist. A journalist, why are you not in Nigeria right now? Why are you, why are you not here fighting? Why are you not, it's, they're not even, they're even saying that it's few people. Please, it's not about the number of people, but it's about the damage that is being done. These are people's children. You people go out there, you trap them on love, you are doing anything, you are not just trapping them on love, you are also killing people. I'm begging you all to please change. Biko, I'm begging you, is it please, in the name of God, for the sake of even your own kids. Those money, we will all die and leave it behind. I'm not a cow. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna make you sweat, make you wet, make you wet, wet, wet. I'm gonna make you sweat, baby, baby, pissing in your chest of pressure. Vault unlocked. Hello, what is up, you dazzling diamonds and the others? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda Kyle, and this is the Vault. Anyway, you guys, let's jump straight into this video alrighty then you guys if you guys haven't already please do like share and subscribe to my channel and if you guys do enjoy my videos please do click on that thank you button and before you guys leave out of here please do drop me a comment in the comment section down below right Nigerians what is happening you guys what is happening, guys? Why do some of you choose to be so, so damn naughty and dangerous? You know, the Nigerians like to perpetuate the situation that South Africans are so xenophobic. It's weird. And if we were to ever come under attack, like I think we might, 
Guess who's going to be leading the pack? Oh, Brenna Boy. That's just my opinion. He's so mad. But he does nothing about nothing. He just tweets about stuff that he knows nothing about, in my opinion. Because you tweet and hide in the shadows. Why don't you help your country mates? You're making so much money around the world, aren't you? Make a difference. Use your voice. Use your platform. Use your celebrity. If shit was to go uh, to the left, to the left. I'm joking. He wouldn't be leading the pack. He's just a celebrity who has a big mouth of nothing. But Nigerians, what is going on? Let's talk about it. The whole world doesn't want you guys. The whole world is tired of what you guys are doing out there. And I'm speaking about the drugs. I just saw a video of a Nigerian in Thailand who was recently caught with some stash, some loot. Is Dagadi. Right? And they're raiding his apartment or what have you. They find this stuff and they're questioning him there. They've got him handcuffed, what have you. And he's pleading and begging and saying that he used to have a good, reputable business until somebody came to mess it up. And that's why he had to turn to this life of selling his dagami. So in Thailand, the story gets worse. And then he's like, I'll never do it again. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry is never going to help you. going to jail because you thought that you were so slick. Why don't the Nigerians use their smarts to do better business? Reputable business, like that guy was saying. I'm sure he never had a reputable business. You know why I say that? When they caught that guy with his daramiso in his room, he had, an, he had a South African ID or passport. When they ask him where did you come from, he says Nigeria, and he says what city or whatever they come, that he comes from in Nigeria. So you're so bad to the point where you in Thailand, you have a uh, South African ID or passport, and you're selling drugs in another country. You're doing so many bad things. And then now I've been seeing Nigerian people coming online and pleading with their country men and women to stop this thing. You are dirtying Nigerian people. You are dirtying your own names. And you know what we are saying is true. You know that. You're making yourselves victims. But you are dealing in businesses that are actually victimizing people, killing people. You want a quick fix. You are, you are oppressed or whatever in your country. Then you go all of Nigerians are all over the world. Americans don't want Nigerians. They are everywhere. Everywhere. Why are they everywhere, Vel? Why couldn't they just stay in their country and make their country great? Why couldn't they stay in their country and sell drugs there? Then they want to feel it's like you do something wrong and you want to feel sorry for yourself. I know that it's not all Nigerians. It could never be all Nigerians, but you're dirtying everybody's name. Your country men and women are pleading with you online to say stop what you're doing, but you won't stop because you're weak. As smart as you are, it's weakness. The only way that you guys can succeed is doing um is Dagami so something's Dagami so young um um, boys and girls. So you can't actually uh, what's this, extend your, your creativity and your minds to different avenues. Where else can you find a gap in the market except for the underworld? So where else can you extend your brain power? You are cursed in my opinion. It's a curse. If that's the only thing that you think that you can do and achieving life. You are embarrassing your own people. That other guy from Nigeria was threatening um, South African, South Africa. Keep our people safe. What about, what about our people? You must keep your people safe, but what about our people? Doesn't sound fair to me. Doesn't sound fair to me. You know how creative Nigerians are? Have you seen the dresses that they make?
it's puzzling to me. It, it seems like a curse. But of course, they will be cursed because they also do these um, witchcraft zibi jibi. They're strong. Always trying to find a quick fix. And they're spreading their darkness all over the They're everywhere. I'm not against Nigerian people in any way, shape, or form. But I'm concerned when I start to see other Nigerians saying, guys, please stop. When they are saying South Africa is not xenophobic, it's us, we're the problem. Why don't you listen to your countrymen and women and do the right thing? Why do you have to go all over the world to spread your dirt and destroy lives? You're destroying lives and you lie and say, I had a business. So I decided. Not everybody decides to just go into drugs. You have another Nigerian connect that's in it. You want a quick fix and it just keeps trickling down. And if it's not that, Yahoo boys. Isn't it that it came out that the Nigerian people have the largest fraud, um, financial fraud syndicate situation? And the people that started it were the university lecturers and the students that they were teaching. It's a big operation that came about from people that are learned. Where do you think they get the knowledge on how to scam and do all these fraud things? They always want a quick way. I don't get it. And then you want to say South Africans are lazy. You're lying. You are lying. You're taking up space. And that's why all this stuff is going on. They're taking you back home. But then guess what's going to happen? You're going to get mad. And you're going to start some dramas. And it's going to be a problem for everyone. Because now you're mad. You left your country for greener pastures. You came here to fuck shit up. It's the same thing you did at home. Is it not? That's why you came here, for greener pastures. But now you're dirting everything else. It doesn't make any sense. Your own people are saying, please stop. It's not me. I'm telling you what your people are saying. It's weird. If your own people can see, this is in Thailand. The guy was called in Thailand. Dagami. So what does that say to you? They're doing it every way. And South Africans are so xenophobic. Yeah. Nigerians don't even take drugs. I'm sure there's some of them that do. Maga, if you actually look at the stats, they don't take drugs like that. They know what dirt it really is. They're spreading it all over the world. It's crazy to me. Sure. Mm -mm. Get yourselves together, hey? And then one minute you were fighting with South Africans with the whole Chidima thing. South Africans wanted things to be on the straight and narrow. You were fighting with them, with all the, the Chidima thing. And then when Chidima came and then she won Miss Universe Nigeria, you guys were supporting her, yeah. Then she came, then she won. You're still mad. You're mad about everything. Maybe you should start taking the drugs that you are. Um, dispersing to the world so you can calm down. I don't know. Because, or maybe you're already taking them. Né? Maybe I'm wrong about Nigerians not doing the drugs because it seems kind of cool, crazy to me. You are mad that your Nigerian girl pulled out of our competition when she came home to rep you guys and then she won. You were mad about that too. Y'all just mad about everything. What is wrong with you? What is actually wrong with you guys? You call into off. You call into off. Why are you guys so upset? How bad? Uh -uh. No, no, no. Get over it. Get over it. And go make Nigeria a better place. You guys can do it. If Chidima was. Um, born in South Africa, she was raised here for 23 years, never went to Nigeria. And then she came back home and she became the queen. You guys can go back home and become kings and queens. Yeah, I'm telling you, I have faith in you. You guys can go back home without the drama 
and become kings and queens, just like we teach. And then we will support you. That's a we will support you. We will support you. Sinobuntu. We are those kind of people. I need. You were mocking us when our South African Miss South Africa, whose surname is LaRue, is Afrikaans. They were mocking us saying, You see what she all did? She's Caucasian. But she, we got it. It's just South African. She's South African, South African. Y'all just want to be mad at everything. Wow. Your government is doing funny things to you, but don't take it out on the rest of the world. And how are you guys getting all these drugs transported all over the world? Are you guys getting cooks from your countries to go to different countries? It's like a syndicate to go and cook the stuff there. Why are they everywhere? Sure. Yeah, anyway, Nigerians, guys, we love you guys. We wish you all the best of luck. Um, with all your endeavors, we hope that you will find your way back to Jesus and do the right thing and stop flipping and flopping. Yeah, it's weird, but all the best to you, right? Anyway, if you guys haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys do enjoy my videos, please do. Click on the thank you button. And before you guys leave out of here, please drop me a comment in the comment section down below. I absolutely love you guys. Bye.